Father Oliver Joseph Smiles, well liked and respected, is considered a generally well rounded man of the cloth by many who have come in contact with him or listened to one of his sermons. He has touched the lives of many throughout his years as a priest, but tonight, the well known priest is facing extreme public scrutiny and backlash. He is named in a list of our clergy with credible and substantiated allegations of sexual abuse of minors and appears under the subheading Religious and Priests of Other Dioceses with allegations of abuse that occurred in the Catholic Diocese of Richmond. Updated February 15, 2019. The list, which includes 40 other alleged abusers, was published by Barry Nestout, Bishop of Richmond, Virginia, USA. Bishop Nestout also published an accompanying letter in which he writes, consistent with my promises of transparency and accountability, I am publishing a list of clergy that have credible and substantiated claim of sexual abuse against a minor. From what the letter stated, alleged victim or victims of Father Smalls came forward as the diocese prepared the list. Convinced that the allegations are true, Bishop Nestor writes, quote, that by publishing this list, we can help bring about healing to those who have experienced abuse in the church and heighten the awareness of this tragic situation, end of quote. Here at home, Bishop Lawrence Nicasio says that Father Smalls has been removed from ministry and will no longer serve in a public ministry in Bili City and Bamopan. Father Smalls has been told that the findings of the credible allegation of sexual abuse of minors have been forwarded to the Congregation of Doctrine of the Faith, which is mandated to address sex abuse cases for further deposition. The Catholic Church here in Belize will continue to investigate this matter. Father Smalls has retained the legal services of Miles and Banner Law Firm in response to the statement of Bishop Nicasio. In a press release, his attorney Leroy Banner says that the allegation of sexual abuse dates as far back as the 1970s, 50 years ago. Father Smalls, according to the statement, vehemently denied and continues to deny the allegations. Father Smalls, in order to prove his innocence, reportedly took a lie detector test, which he passed. He really says that Father Smiles was being truthful and that the allegation is baseless and remains unproven. In the letter, Father Smiles directs his disappointment at Bishop Nicasio, saying that the Catholic Church in Belize is aware that the allegations remain unproven and have made no efforts to make any assertion otherwise. In fact, the statement from the Catholic Church stressed that the allegations are credible. Father Smiles has been a man of the cloth for more than 50 years and has expressed his innocence through Facebook. He tells one person, it is not true, and the truth will come out, and that he is innocent of these allegations. Sex abuse allegations and scandals against minors, particularly males at the hands of priests around the world, have plagued the Catholic Church for many years. Though Father Smiles has been removed from ministry here in Belize, what about other jurisdictions across the world? Sources who have known Father Smiles for many years said he left the country on Sunday and is not expected to return anytime soon. According to his attorney, his travel is not related to the case. There are no known reports against Father Smalls in Belize. A formal demand letter was addressed to Bishop Nicasio demanding that the church refrain from issuing baseless publications. Father Smalls is in the process of determining legal recourse to maintain his good name and serve in a public ministry in the diocese. Hippolyto Novello, News 5.